GeoGuessr is a game where you're dropped anywhere in the world and you have to figure out where you are just by walking around. And GeoGuessr Duels is trying to do all of that in a 1v1 competition. Now, I've been trying to become a gold-ranked player in this game for a while. It's really hard because a lot of people are very good at geography, and I was born in America. So I came up with a genius plan. Every time I lost, I'd have to spin the Wheel of Death. It had a bunch of punishments that my YouTube chat came up with, so I would be incentivized to continue to win. Someone donated twice and said, watch your own videos. Okay, that's not a punishment. <laughs> Let's find out, can I become a gold rank player? I'll be honest, I've been playing this game for a while and it freaking pisses me off because I'm really good at this game, but I'm only ranked silver. I should be ranked gold. I am, I am, I am cracked. Okay, I don't even have to look where I am. I already know I am in the beautiful country of New Zealand, specifically Auckland. But I always get cheated, sniped, and then I mauled. Okay, you know what? It wasn't a bad guess. I knew it was in the Pacific Ocean. Here. Now, I'm blocking the map where I'm making my guess down here, but you guys will see it after just because uh, this avoids stream snipers. This is Israeli. The scary thing about GeoGuessr is the longer you play, the higher the multiplier becomes. You can see at the top of the screen, it's 6x, meaning if I'm just a few miles off oh my God. from the actual oh my God. location, then it's going to be a world of hurt for me. No! This is what happens. You get it wrong, you got to spin the wheel. Come on, no whammy, no whammy, no whammy, no whammy. Give me something good, give me something good. Just genuinely one of the worst ones possible. Just genuinely one of the most terrible options possible. Susan Susan Wojcicki is actually... <laughs> it's like a fucking Prezzo tweet. I don't know if it's a typo, but it, it, it reads like a Prezzo tweet. Okay, here's the thing about it. The sun is in the south, which means we're in the northern hemisphere, and it seems to be Italian, right? It kind of seems like we're in a bit of the Italian metropolis. There's a dog. All right, that might be an Italian dog. I fucking lied. It was obviously in fucking Portugal. You're such a stream sniper, and you're also bad at the game. You're so dumb. You just got outed, and you're dumb. And you're cringe. You're so cringe and dumb. Got you. Boomed you. You're so embarrassed right now. Just give up. Give up. Quit. Quit. Oh. It was Edmonton. They actually quit! There's no way they actually quit. There's no way. All right. All right. Hell yeah. Hey, new rule. If you are a stream sniper and you get caught stream sniping, fucking quit. For some reason, I feel like this might be a stream sniper. I, I just have this weird feeling. It can't be the Philippines because I've seen way too many motorcyclists wearing helmets. And that, that just wouldn't fly in the Philippines. They'd get pulled over and, and the cop would call them a pussy. And then they'd go on their way. It was Indonesia. Oh, yeah. You can't go Philippines if they're wearing helmets. Come on. Everybody knows that. I'm going to go South Africa. It was. It was right outside of Cape Town, though. They were much closer than me. Oh, do I, do I lose on that? Yeah. All right, GG. This will probably help me find the countries around the world. Now, I said it as a joke, but after taking the shot, I started to go off, winning every single game. We're obviously in U.S. Virgin Islands, baby. Woo! Oh, dude, we got a flawless victory. That feels so good. Let's imagine we get three in a row for a moment. <gasps> this would be my biggest challenge yet. This guy was not only gold, but he was on his way to platinum. If I was ever going to be gold, I would have to beat a gold player. The first thing I noticed was that there was a French flag, but there was also a lot of yellow cars. I thought they might have been cabs, so I knew it had to have been a major city in France. Now, I went with the most obvious pick, 
Paris. Of course, my opponent also got the country right, but we got the city. Before I could even celebrate, I was dropped in an area I was unfamiliar with. And to make matters worse, my opponent already guessed, so I had five seconds to figure out where I was. Now, I saw this sign, and I didn't understand a word of it, which usually means you're in Finland. And I was right again. I was actually beating a gold-level player. We were trading rounds left and right. Things were heating up. He was a bit closer, and then I was a bit closer, until he made a huge mistake. He was 4,000 miles away, and I had him down to the wire. All I needed to do was get one good guess in. This was our final location. It had a beautiful coastline, and it looked kind of Mediterranean, but I couldn't pick up on anything until I saw this. Do you see it? Take a look at the license plate. There's a little blue marker on each side, which only exists in two countries, Albania and Italy. And I was making a bet that this was the beautiful Italian coast. So I put in my guess. Oh, it was Italy. It was Italy proper. I think we're closer though. Yes! Dude! We just beat a gold player! All the doubt that I was dealing with drifted away. All the stream sniping, the cheating, it didn't matter. If I tried hard enough, I could beat a gold player, which means I can become a gold player. I was starting to get confident, and the game matched me up against another gold opponent. But I knew if I did my best, I could actually win. I could go back-to-back -back Ws, and that's exactly... No! 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 There's no way! What didn't happen? I got him down to one point, and then he made the best comeback I've ever seen, and I lost. I only lost eight points, so I'm not too mad. Are you kidding? The alcohol helped, and I won the next two games in a row, and then lost one, but that's still raising my overall rank. I'm sitting there with a bottle in front of my mouth, stroking it like I'm Dream trying to get likes on Twitter. What's going on here? Why isn't it popping out? <laughs> it feels like I just came back from a concert and I screamed the entire night. Oh, I'm still in it! Okay. I, I need to- I need to get- I have a mochi ball upstairs, and I think it's gonna be so relieving. Okay, I actually left during this entire portion, and, and my opponent didn't guess for the duration of it. I will say, if you guys are curious, I was drinking the Hot Ones Last Dab Hot Sauce. It's not that bad, until the next day. I can't believe they had all that time to guess and still lost to me. I was feeling myself! The path to gold was happening! I was also kind of feeling the mochi. Ugh. The only texture that seems even close to the texture of mochi is like a ball sack. Unfortunately, I lost again, so I had to spin the wheel. Let's go! I was feeling really good. I won three back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back games. In the fourth game I was on, I was really close to winning. And if I did win, I'd be the closest to gold I had ever been ever. Now let me walk you through my thought process here. It seemed to be an African country, but we're driving on the right, so it can't be South Africa. There's no snorkel on the front of the car, so we're not in Kenya. There's no roof rack, so we can't be in Ghana. I even looked at the sky because in Senegal, there's a visual bug in the sky. It can't be there either. So I guessed we were probably in Nigeria, and I was spot on. I crushed my opponent, and as you can see, we were just one win away from being gold. Well. At least until April came along. April. Oh, this might get us enough points to win. I think we're in Amsterdam, right? We're in Denmark. Oh my god. Oh my god. This person's good. This person's good. Shit. I'm gonna start guessing fast. Keep them on their toes. What's going on, April? What the fuck, April? How you feeling now, April? <laughs> You're smurfing! Dude, you are like a platinum player! I beat a gold player earlier. What are you doing?
No! To make things exciting, I put one option that would end my stream immediately via copyright claims from the creators of Baby Shark, a, a meme that's been running in my channel for a while. The chance of it happening was 1 in 250, a 0.4% chance, but it came up. I tried to fight it and, and I thought I might just play some games and, and ignore that, but, but chat started to get really upset. So then I thought maybe I'll play it quietly in the background, but that didn't work either. Worst of all, I started losing again and again and again, and the stream sniping only got worse. I turned off my camera, and I, and I tried to block out all the noise, but I couldn't win. And finally, I gave up. That was the end of my attempt at getting gold. Until today! Now here's my theory. I'm only losing because of stream snipers and cheaters. So what if I tried to play offline? And that's exactly what I did. The first match was a tough one. I saw a sign that said MD and it looked like the US, so I clicked on Maryland. I quickly realized the MD stood for doctor, but it didn't matter, I won anyway. The next match was just as hard. The player was ranked a little bit higher than me and we are on the 2X multiplier round. I was traveling through, it kind of looked like America, but I saw this sign. It said Guam, which is a small Pacific Island nation that is owned by the United States of America. I clicked on it and hoped they wouldn't see. And I was right. They completely missed it. I was 50 miles away. They were 6,800. Another win in the books. I was playing well and winning a lot, but it's not like I was winning every single game. I fucking hate this. I fucking hate this. Fuck! Fucking hate this! I was livid until I saw this. A George Not Found profile picture. Gave me a bit of confidence, and when I saw this Ronaldo jersey, I knew we were in Portugal. I guess within three seconds, they didn't even have time to get their own guess off. Next opponent, I drove around quickly and noticed two key factors. The yellow license plate driving on the right side of the road and the A17. It had to be the Netherlands, and I was right. After that win, I was one point away from gold. I've been thinking about why a fake gold badge is important to me in the first place. This isn't a popular game. It's not even the highest rank you can get in the game. But I've been so caught up lately with making videos and streams, I forgot what it's like to really care about something, to compete and be vulnerable. Failure doesn't feel good, but it's nice to care enough to fail in the first place. So your Valorant rank or Chess Elo or, or Max Bench Press that matters. If you set a goal for yourself and you achieve it, that's important. Thanks for watching. Yes!